Hey there, YTPC, New Jersey Piper Ben here. Doing a quick VR for Smoking Kentucky Piper Ray. He's doing A100 Sub Gaw. Just want to congratulate you on the subscriptions. Very well deserved. And a very generous Gaw. So Ray asked if you had any pets that were named after pipe smoking things, I guess. I don't. Um, but I do have some pets. And I'm not going to pass up an opportunity to show off my pets. So uh, I'm going to flip around real quick and I've got some pictures pulled up and kind of go through a few of them. So on the right there is Scout. And unfortunately Scout passed away probably about a year ago. Um, and she was named after the character in To Kill a Mockingbird. And her sister there on the left is Lily. And Lily's not really named after anybody, just thought it was a pretty name at the time. Uh, Lily's still with us, thankfully. So had a couple of, uh, of them laying together. They were kind of inseparable, good friends. And uh, some more kind of funny pictures of Lily. So there's one of her just kind of relaxing along my side there. And, and another one where she's just kind of like sitting like a person, passed out drunk. <laughs> that one's pretty funny. And then this one. So she's literally inside of my jeans. And this was when I was doing laundry. And I did not stage this picture. I left the room and I came back and she had basically turned my jeans into a snuggle nest. I don't, again, I don't know how she got so perfectly wrapped up like a little burrito, but that's what I saw when I got back in the room and I had to take a picture. And this is our other cat. Her name is Outlet. Now her name is actually, has a pretty funny origin. It was when she was a baby. Um... Somebody, uh, somebody, you know, they were kind of wondering how the cat got so fluffy. Because she was just a super fluffy baby kitty. And, uh, this was my wife's cat before we, before we actually ever met. And for some reason, as a baby, this cat would just play with wall outlets. Um, and they couldn't really figure out why. And they were like, maybe that's why she's so fluffy. <laughs> so they just named her Outlet. And we have a, a dog. And her name is Riley. And uh, she is a mutt. But, you know, probably a little bit of lab in there somewhere. Based on the shape of her head, some people think there's some pit bull in there. But she's the sweetest dog. The, she's terrified of the cat. Lily in particular. Lily Lily goes after her for, for unknown reasons because Lily's a bit neurotic. But, but yeah, she's a, she's a, she's a, she's a, she's a baby. She's a terrified of everything but she was a uh she was a street rescue that we got uh got from the st louis uh aspca um but yeah we just couldn't uh we went and visited her after seeing a video of her online and she's just got beautiful ice blue eyes so we couldn't pass up taking her home with us i got suckered into that one oh sorry I'm trying to navigate my uh mouse here looking through my camera <laughs> And there's Christmas, Christmas Riley, <laughs> again, terrified. And here's a uh, Barnstable Bay Riley. So this is when we uh, went up to scout the location where we got married and then hang out in the uh, area up in Cape Cod for a little bit and found a nice little quiet beach that allowed pets and went and had a little bit of beach time. So she had a lot of fun smelling all the things. So yeah, that's our babies. Um, try to, if I had, if I was going to name a pet after something pipe related, that's really tough. Dublin, Dublin is a great name. Um, cause that's kind of homage to Ireland and the pipe. Um, you know, Peterson would be a cool name. Uh, I've got a lot of Savinelli's, but I don't think Savinelli is a very good name. And I was trying to think of something that could be based on Savinelli that's also a name. Savvy, Sav, I I don't know. 
Rossi, I guess, could be a name. <laughs> but yeah, I was having trouble coming up with things, and then I started filtering to tobacco blends. I'm like, are there any tobacco blends that would make good names for a pet? And I'm sure there are, but I need to give this a little bit more thought before I commit to anything. But uh, it's definitely going to be tempting, you know, the next time we, you know, acquire a pet to uh, not name it after something tobacco related. But I'm going to have to put some thought into that one. Anyway, Ray, uh, congrats on the subs again. Fantastic gall. Really excited about that. And take care.